Speaking of that heat wave, let's go ahead and check in with meteorologist Kyle Gravelin. Uh, it feels a lot nicer here, though. Than it, it does, but tomorrow, places. Kyle, you said it's heating up. Yeah, really heating up around here today. It's eastern areas of the country that will really be feeling the heat. Now, this is uh, a forecast of the real field temperatures, the heat index it's sometimes referred to, what it will feel like outside in some of these areas in the northeast today and tomorrow afternoon. For the red colors, we're talking 100 to 105, so that's areas of southern New England down the mid-Atlantic coast, areas mostly around uh, Kentucky there as well. Now, we certainly can get into the triple digits sometimes as well, but they have to deal with the humidity. So to high temperatures, mid to upper 90s, but you add in some humidity, it will feel like 100 to 105 in some of those areas in the red. Tomorrow, I think we can hit mid 90s around here. Today, though, still pretty comfy. 47 this morning in Boise, 25 Stanley, 33 now in McCall, 34 around Baker City. Basically the same exact temperatures we had 24 hours ago with the clear skies and light winds around our area. 37 Pocatello, 50 now in Casper. Warmer air to the south and southeast. Vegas really warming up. They were at 87, actually now down to 83. And you do notice a few 50s here. Seattle, Portland, and Roseburg. We're starting to bring in the warmer air. There is a Pacific breeze here as well, which will help to keep them a little bit warmer than some of these inland areas. It's only 41 now in Moscow. Clear skies, calm winds, and no precipitation, so Precision Live Doppler very quiet this morning. There are a few scattered showers off to the east. They will stay out there as a tiny little disturbance kind of makes its way out of Montana. High pressure is really building in around here. Look at the clearing skies across the west coast into most of Idaho. Just a few thin high clouds here in central and northern areas of the state. That high pressure sticks around for most of this week, but really starts to assert itself today and then into tomorrow. That's when we'll be drawing up that hot air from the desert southwest. Now, a couple of tiny disturbances out over the Pacific. Something we'll keep an eye on as we head into this weekend. But the way I see it right now, I think Saturday and Sunday for the Treasure Valley looks mostly dry with an isolated shower or storm in the mountains. Really not too much going on here over the next five days. Set up for today, high pressure in control, clockwise flow around high pressure. So off to the east, still that cool and moist flow that has really no effect on our weather today. That same clockwise flow is what draws up the air from the south today and tomorrow. 5.09 p.m. is the summer solstice in the Treasure Valley, at least for mountain time. Solstice is Latin for sun stands still. And for our summer in the northern hemisphere, it's when it lines up with the Tropic of Cancer. In our winter or the southern hemisphere summer, it would line up with the Tropic of Capricorn. So Long day today. 9.30 is sunset, sunrise at 6.04 in Boise. Upper 70s for the Treasure Valley. Light winds around here looking good. West Central Mountains, a lot of 70s showing up for a change. 67, though, in McCall. 70 today in Donnelly. East Central Mountains, chilly start in the higher elevations, but nice and comfy this afternoon with highs in the upper 60s. Magic Valley, some gorgeous weather. Just a light breeze there coming mostly out of the northwest, southeasterly by the day, uh, the end of the day, excuse me. 72 for Gooding, 76 there in Twin Falls. Heating up tomorrow, we're at 95 and still pretty warm Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the mid to upper 80s. Slight chance of a shower or storm on Monday. Really, today we've got to enjoy and make the most of it because tomorrow's yeah. going to be miserable. Some near perfect outside. weather, in yeah. my opinion, for today, but very hot tomorrow. Fortunately, it doesn't look like those 90s are creating a streak just yet. No, we're not starting our own okay. heat wave just yet. Kind of an isolated hot day. Good news there. Kyle right. breaking All out right. some Latin on us. Mm -hmm. yeah. really fancy. It took four years in, hi in uh, high school. Oh, I don't remember wow. really any of it. We learned something new every day about Kyle Graham. All right. <laughs> we thanks. do. All right. The time now is 20 minutes before the hour.